guys so today we are going to do an updated foundation routine drugstore version so lately I have been only reaching out for all my drugstore um, products so I thought why not make a video and all of you love drugstore foundations and concealers and powders so I thought why not share it my hair is a mess let's it's just Ignore that. And also I have a huge pimple right here. I don't know what's going on. So let's ignore that too. Okay? Let's get started. <laughs> what's wrong with my hair? Okay. Let's just, let's just ignore my hair, okay? I've said this twice already. Should I tie it? Okay, I'll leave it open. Okay, so for primer, I've been reaching out for this one. It's the L'Oreal Vis It's the L'Oreal Visible Lift Radiance Booster. So I'm gonna put this on my face first. Has a funny smell, but so it's all right. Does the job. My skin has been so dry lately; it's unreal. Ah, my baby is sleeping. I hope he doesn't wake up. And hopefully, I finish this on time. Okay, next obsessed with this foundation i think everybody on my channel knows this if you've been following me for a while now this is the maybelline fit me matte and poreless and i'm in the shade 220. now on a day-to-day -day, like everyday go-to makeup i i do a very light application of this but when i want a full coverage i put a lot on The foundation is on, that's my face. I'm not the type of person who always sets their face. Like, I don't really go for a powder. If I have it in front of me, I'll use it. Other than that, foundation is usually, uh, this foundation usually stays pretty well throughout the day. So I don't really powder my face. And plus, right now my face is dry. So powdering it will only make it worse. The concealer, I'm going in with Maybelline Age Rewind Erase Dark Circle Eraser. Like now I look like a ghost. <laughs> and now to set. This has been my favorite recently. It's the it's the Maybelline Master Fix Baking and Brightening Loose Powder. Powder. It's like a yellowish, banana looking ish powder. And to set, I'm gonna use the same beauty sponge or beauty blender. I'm gonna just take a clean brush and just take the excess and just dust it all over my face. That way it kind of sets it, you know, but I don't really have to use a specific powder for it. Now that the skin is done, that's pretty much my foundation routine. <laughs> um, now for bronzer, again, go to for drugstore. It's the Animal Annabelle Biggie Bronzer. It's huge. Um, and just take any contour brush, throw it around, tap, make the fishy face. Mm -hmm. 
And what I like about this bronzer is I'm not a blush person. I used to actually. I used to. I had to use blush more than bronzer before, but I'm not a blush person. Person? I'm not a blush. Oh my god! I'm not a blush person anymore. And this bronzer has a little bit of that mauvey undertone. So when I contour and bronze, it kind of gives me that blushy feel too. So it's like three in one: contour, bronzing, and blush. Okay, now we can clean up the contour. So I'm taking the same powder, just lining it here. Okay, we'll let that set for a little bit. I'm just going to dust this off. For highlight, people could say it's not drugstore, folks say it is. It is pretty pricey to be honest. But it drugs like when I was in Canada, London Drugs used to sell this and that's like they sell drugstore makeup um, and I think here in Australia uh, I think Pride no I think Target carries it yeah I think Target carries it this is the only highlighter that I've ever liked from drugstore I still yet have to try the Maybelline highlighter that one the new, new ones or it's not new anymore but chrome or something I don't know what it's called but everyone thinks says that's like the best highlighter you know from the drugstore still have to buy that I it's always sold out here in Australia any drugstore I go to it it's just never there so and I'm not gonna go spend money online for something like that because I have a lot of highlighters. But yeah, this is the highlighter that I go for. Mine's all shattered. So I'm gonna be very careful opening this. That's how mine looks. Cause your girl dropped it. But yeah, that's that's the highlighter I'm gonna use. And it's so beautiful. You have to be very careful with this. Little goes a long way. It's all over my lid actually. So I'm not doing anything to my eyes. Just gonna take a small brush, take the same highlighter and put it in the inner corner. And I'm gonna grab a smaller brush, take the same highlighter. Okay, for mascara, I'm going in with L'Oreal Telescopic, Telescopic Shocking Mascara. Is that what it's called? Shocking Extension Mascara. <laughs> and I'm only coating my bottom lash line. Bottom lashes. Because I have extensions on my upper lash, obviously. Pretty obvious. No, Mino. Lip liner. Lip liner in nude pink. For lipstick, I'm going to go with the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Liquid Lipstick. This is one of my favorite color from that line. It's so beautiful. And to finish it off, again, my tried and true setting spray. 
uh, NYX Cosmetics Matte Setting Spray. Alright guys, this, sorry, just don't mind my hair. This is my updated foundation routine, um, drugstore version. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you do, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to share it. Love you. Bye.